What's going on, Saxies, and welcome to Spooktober. Uh, now, I did this last uh, year, and you guys seem to like it. The views were kind of up on the upper end, and I like doing it personally because what Spooktober is, is I just go through, and every other day, I put out a horror game uh, from Ichio, or just an indie horror game, or just something real quick, because for one, they're not that hard to edit. For two, it's October, so horror games. And uh, for three, it's fun, you know? <clears throat> oh, also, I'm gonna try and keep the hor the gym videos uh, consistent. Um, I think I just have two left. Sorry about last week, I had COVID, so I literally couldn't do shit. But today, as a recording, is September 30th, which means this will go out on October 1st. The next gym video... That bodes well. We'll go out on October 2nd. So, hope you guys enjoy this Spooktober. And if you guys have any um, recommendations for games, put them in the comments. Our first game of Spooktober is called The Smiling Man. And I don't know why, but it seems like there's no sound. And also, I can't get it to be full screen. Also, I have no sound. Oh, the game crashed. Nice. Hold on. There's the noise. There's the noise. All right. I hope that sound levels are balanced. They should be. Nexus Game Studio. So that initial thing I saw was just a um, launcher. I got my G Fuel with me. So we are ready to rock. I didn't put ice in it though. Uh, hack for G Fuel, put ice in it. Uh, it'll mix it better. This is fucking massive. <laughs> Warning, this game contains jump scares, the loud noises, blood, violence, and gore. Goody, all my favorite things. For a better experience, use headphones, turn up the volume, play in the dark. Well, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, so... <laughs> Can't do that. Oh, I also want to play this game because I'm... Like, it's called The Smiling Man. Holy shit, that... And yeah, that's terrifying. I don't know why, but the idea of someone just smiling at you for no reason is one of the scariest things to me because... Like, there's a movie called Smile, for example, right? I can't finish it. I just can't finish that movie. And like, my sister's like, that's goofy as hell. That movie's goofy as like, I, I, just, I can't, I can't. It's so loud. Yeah, alternative Wait, story. Yeah. Main story. Yeah. Developed by Diego Victor. handed to me ah <sighs> as long as it's not like the alien isolation ai that shit was terrifying which is on my stream there should be clips on my twitch twitch.tv slash x anyway special thanks to blank cubs oh i know the name cub scouts i don't know why there's actually one of the games that uh, i do want to play it's gonna be one of a longer video I may split it oh doco nice um it's called uh, I don't remember, <laughs> but it's made by the guy who made the shopping list, which I know Jack Jacksepticeye made a video on that, but Berlizzi is a voice in the game, so that should be fun. Oh, Jacob Forster did. Ah, oh, he did a game. Ah, oh, right. I did he do um, super liminal? Was that Jacob Forster? Or, no, did they do LiDAR? I'm not sure. Some years ago, I lived in the center of a large city in the USA. As I have always been a night person, I often get bored, got bored after my roommate, who was decidedly not a night person, went to bed. I had to pass time. I used to take long walks and spend time thinking. Long walks in a big city is not a good idea. At night. <laughs> I spent four years like this, like that, walking alone at night and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommate that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. But all that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. Bro, met the Joker. It was a Wednesday. Uh, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning. Are you dumb? Uh, and I was 
walking near a police uh, patrol car quite a ways from my apartment. It was a quiet night, even for a weeknight, uh, with very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it was most nights, was completely empty. Well, your first mistake was going out at 1 or 2 in the morning alone um, in the middle of a big city. Uh, I hope you're not a woman because that would be even more dangerous. You could just cut it. Someone's going to cut it. I hope you're not a woman. What did he say? Oh. And then it's like, <gasps> he's sexist. You think this is a good idea? I'm starting to think that you're the psychopath in this situation. What? God, this is... No wonder you die. Actually, I have no idea if they die. But like, maybe they do. Maybe they don't. Who knows? Knowing this game, it's gonna have a loud ass jump scares. That's it? After a long time of walking. After a long time of waiting. <laughs> I came across a man that couldn't stop smiling. It's been a long time. I'm tired, I better go home. You tell me you don't walk in a loop? You don't have like a circuit? You just walk until you're tired? It's like, oh, let me just walk back. What? Okay, cool. We're on a street now. This damn walking man. Smiling man. Walking man. You a person? No, you're a tree. That's a car. I'm like hyper aware right now, guys. Smiling. I'm just, I'm just waiting for someone just to be standing under a light. I was walking down a small street to get back to my apartment when I first noticed it. At the end of the street, there's a silhouette of a man dancing. What? I have a huge-ass glare on my computer right now. So I can't see shit. I should close that window. It's not even a glare, actually. I think it's just... It was a strange dance. As he danced, he took a step forward. I guess you could say he was dancing coming straight towards me. Oh. Is this where I go the opposite direction? Uh, well, I did see there was a sprint button. Oh, no. Nah. He, uh, he danced closer still until I could make out his face. His eyes were wide open and wild, head tilted back, looking uh, off at the sky. His mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. <laughs> words are this is very well written like i feel like i'm reading a book that i will say the the time the time to read is great took my eyes off him uh to cross the empty street uh i did not take my eyes off of him not taking my eyes off of him he had stopped dancing and was standing with one foot in the street perfectly parallel to me he was facing me but so look skyward, smile so white on his lips. I got it. I'm just gonna like. I'm just gonna keep staring at you. The sprint button doesn't work. That's good to know. Okay. Ah, uh, this isn't me walking. I'm not controlling this. I'm not controlling this. Uh, something's gonna happen. He's gonna like come up behind me or some shit. Is that him? He had crossed the street and was now crouching slightly. I was shocked that I just stood there for a while looking at him. This probably looks like a fucking anime character. Like, oh, cross the across. Oh my god, Kodos. It's been a while. He took a giant exaggerated steps on tiptoe, like cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Only he was moving very, very fast. Then fucking move! 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 Oh my god, move. Please get the fuck out of Dodge. What the fuck do you want? Oh, that's an option. Oh. That was easy. I would not turn your back to him if I were you. 
and I would not take any more midnight strolls if I were you. Don't look down. Look back up. Thank you. Thank you. If he's behind me, if I turn, nope, we're out of here. We're out of here. Goodbye. 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 I'm not even turning around. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm I'm just going. I don't even know where my apartment is. I'm just I'm just running down the street. I really hope this guy doesn't keep following me because I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I live. I just I just live there. You know why would I know where I live? Is he still on my ass? Whew. I ran until I got off the side road back into the well lit low traffic road. Uh, when I looked back, he was nowhere to be found. Throughout the rest of the way home, I kept looking over my shoulder, always expecting to see his stupid smiling face, but he was never there. Uh, I lived in that city for six months after that night and never went out for a night stroll again. Good! And there was something about his face that haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utterly insane. And that is a very scary, scary thing to see. Yeah. Yeah, no, I couldn't. It's like the Joker, dude. Like... I wouldn't want to be out in the middle of the night. So. No. Anyway, guys, thank you uh, for watching this first episode of Spooktober. I thought, it, I hope it was a fun game. I hope I was entertaining enough. Um, the dialogue was kind of slow, but otherwise, I thought it was a really fun game. Uh, the Smiling Man, I thought it was really good. And yeah, make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe. Also, if you want to see the rest of Spooktober and also my gym content. And also, comment some games you would like to see me play for Spooktober. And I'll see you later, Saxies. Peace out.